Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm Alicia, and today I have another Torrid try-on inside the dressing room for you guys. I'm really excited to share with you guys all the awesome things I tried on. Also, there is a giveaway going on. All you have to do to win that is be subscribed to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. Also comment below on either this video or one of my other Torrid videos your favorite thing about spring, or honestly, you can comment whatever you want. As long as you're following me on both Instagram and YouTube, I'll be able to DM you on Instagram if you win. And that is going on until April 20th. If you have any other questions, they should be answered in the subscription box below, or you can ask me in the comments. Without further ado, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and let's go ahead and get right into it. This first dress was actually way cuter than I thought it was gonna be. It almost made me think of like the Ro ancient Roman times, if that makes any sense. Like those kind of dresses. And I was like, okay, okay, let's, let's see how she feels on. So I tried it on and it actually had like a wrap around tie up thing in the middle. And I love that where you get to like make it look like a little bow. Ah, I just love that. I love bows and all that type of stuff. So I was totally for that. Honestly, tried this on in a size two. It fit perfectly. I don't really have any complaints about it other than I wish it had pockets. The whole time I was wearing it, I was like, I kept like reaching around trying to find pockets where there were none. I just assume that tour dresses all have pockets even though they don't. So the only thing I would change about this dress is if it had pockets, I would totally buy it. But I have a hard time purchasing dresses that don't have pockets after knowing dresses that do. You know, it's kind of one of those, well, once I've been there, I, I can't really go back. I can't go back to dresses with no pockets. So it was a no for me to buy, but it was really, really, really cute. And it fit really, really well. This swimsuit was actually, I think, really similar to last year's swimsuits that I tried on. This one in particular with like the pineapples on it. I think I tried it on last year but I tried it on again this year if I didn't last year and it was actually the only one in the store and it was a size three, which in Torrid Swim, I definitely need a size three because if you know Torrid Swim, you have to go up a size in Torrid Swim because it runs so freaking small. So a size three actually fit really nicely. The only thing is that in the chest area, I tend to not fill them out and this, or I don't fill them out when it's like a built-in bra when it's not a built-in bra, usually it's totally fine because it's really just fabric. It's almost like a sports bra type of thing when it's not a built-in bra. So that works for me. But this I actually tried on while I also still had like another bra on underneath. And because of that, it fit okay in the chest area. But if I wouldn't have had that other bra on, definitely would not have worked. So although I really love this swimsuit, the chest area was way too big for me. The jeans that I tried on this time were jeggings and I tried them on in a size 22. They fit really nicely in the tummy area, but they were really big everywhere else. And that tends to happen to me with jeggings and pretty much every jean. But I do feel like it's kind of weird because at Torrid, every time I try on a jegging, I feel like it fits me differently no matter what size I try on. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I try on different fabrics. And I know that sometimes in jeans, like a white jean, fits differently than a black jean, like in um, size wise, like both of them can be an 18, but they fit a little bit differently. So maybe that's why, I don't know. I mean, really comfortable jeans, the jeggings, so I definitely recommend, but I really don't wear jeggings too much. I don't wear jeans for that matter too much. So although they were fine, they were just a regular jean, I really was just trying them on to also try on some cute shirts for you guys and for myself. <laughs> so this shirt that I tried on, it was like a crop top, but it was also very work vibes, like office job vibes, slash like businesswoman, slash like CEO running your own company vibes. So I thought it was really cute and I actually really, really liked it. The only thing is that I didn't like it with these jeans. And I think it was because they were a little bit too light to go with the shirt. I think this shirt would go super cute with like some high waisted black pants, like black work pants or honestly even with some black leggings but it would that would definitely make it more casual than businessy 
but uh, I mean, it depends on what you're going for. But this shirt was actually really comfortable and it's so cute for summer. Like I say, no matter what your size and no matter what your shape, like if you wanna wear a crop top, freaking go for it because I used to be so scared to wear crop tops. This right here is a crop top. I know you can't really tell in the video because you can only see this part of me, but it's a crop top. And you know what? Sweatpants, like high-waisted sweatpants with a crop top, it's such a cute look for like just casual hanging out. Try it sometime. Like it's really comfortable and you feel like really chic doing it, even though all you're doing is wearing sweatpants and a crop top. I definitely recommend this crop top. I tried it in a size two and it fit, it really fit me like a glove. It fit really perfectly. I just didn't like it with the jeans, but other than that, mm, super cute top. Oh my goodness, this shirt that says road tripping on it was so cute. And like, okay, so lately I've been planning my honeymoon with my fiance. We're getting married in October. Uh, but this road tripping shirt just like made me think of the honeymoon we're planning because we're like driving somewhere. And I'm just really excited about it. And I've been like planning that more than the wedding right now. <laughs> So I'm so excited for the honeymoon. So anyway, when I saw this shirt, I was like, oh my gosh, road tripping and we're going to be road tripping. And I was just thinking like, ooh, this would be so cute to wear on our road trip. Wow. Take a shot every time I say road trip. Just kidding. This road tripping shirt was so cute. It actually fit really nice. It was very thin though. And we all know I hate thin shirts because I don't like to wear tank tops underneath. This I think would be a cute shirt to wear with high waisted jeans like I have it in the video. Or honestly, wear with like a cute black skirt and it's got the little tie up down here, which, you know, just adds a little bit of charm and class. A little class A, I don't know. Um, but I think it's really cute. So I thought it was super comfortable and I would almost do this as like a crop top with sweatpants again. I just love sweatpants. They're so comfortable. Like who doesn't love sweatpants? So I definitely would recommend this shirt. I just think if you're gonna actually like wear it in public, you might wanna wear a tank top underneath, or at least I would. So that's the reason I didn't buy this shirt is because I didn't wanna have to wear a tank top underneath it. Otherwise though, so freaking cute. I don't know if I said, but I tried it on in a size two and it fit totally fine, but I almost feel like I would have preferred a size three because I wanted it to be a little bit looser and a little bit um, really just more loose. Like I wanted it to kind of be like a, you know, a loose like oh i'm just hanging out shirt type of thing and with the two it just fit to perfect instead of like loose so yeah anyway <laughs> this is one of those shirts that i thought was so cute on the hanger and then i put it on and i was like oh this is giving me like 12 year old girl vibes for some reason and i could totally see this being super cute on someone else but i feel like i already look very young um, people tell me that all the time that I look like I'm 16 or 18 and I am 25. So I just don't need a shirt that makes me look even younger. Actually comment below, how old do you, like did you think I was before I told you I was 25? Like how old do you think I look? Especially without makeup, oh my goodness. I look like I'm 15. And other than that, I mean, I like the frilliness of it and I tried it on in a size two. The size two, it fit really well, but again, it had the, um, scoop neck and I prefer necks like this shirt where it's like closer up to your collar and it's just, I don't know, I just prefer that more. And so the scoop neck, I just don't quite care for and so I just decided not to get it. But it was very comfortable and it was a very cute shirt and I think if you don't have a problem of looking 16 all the time, <laughs> then you should totally go and try on this shirt and see if you guys like it. because. It is a very cute shirt. I just didn't think that I pulled it off very well. This cardigan was so cute. I almost bought it, but I didn't. I tried it on in a size three and the color of it was like perfect. It would go with anything. But the only thing is that, and I've said this, like I think I said this in last week's sword video, but it is getting into spring weather instead of winter. And I tend to get hot very easily, so I don't really need cardigans. Like I just don't need an abundance of them and I already have like the few that I do need. So when I try on cardigans, I almost always fall in love with them, but I always know like you really don't need it. And so because I'm trying to save money for the wedding and for the honeymoon, I passed it up even though I love it. Oh, curse you money <laughs> or having no money. Super, super comfortable cardigan. I definitely recommend if you're looking for a cardigan and it has pockets, you cannot go wrong with pockets. I mean, like 
pockets just make everything better. So I definitely recommend this cardigan. Honestly, if they have it in different colors, get them all. Like they're so cute and they're so sensible and they're so practical and comfortable. They're just perfect. This was a total like random find. I was just like walking through the store and I saw this like jean shirt, like jean, oh, well, it's kind of like jean material, I guess. It's like a button up shirt, it's got hearts on it. I figured this shirt was probably for Valentine's Day, but I figured, oh, what the heck? It looks really cute, let me try it on. I fell in love, it's so cute. It's so comfortable too, it's not like a restrictive. It's not restrictive like most button up shirts. Like I really, really, really loved this shirt. Ah, okay, the only thing is that the arms like right here, because it is like a rolled up one, they, it did feel like here it was a little bit tight in the arms. So I didn't get it because I figured like I just, oh, and I tried it on in a size three. So this was even a size up from my usual size. And I definitely think that a size two would have been too small. So if you're looking to get this shirt or a shirt like it, I recommend going up a size. And if you do have like thicker arms, maybe this won't work for you, but you can always try it. And if it doesn't work for you, you can always return it. Tord's really good about returning stuff, but I did want to give you guys a heads up that really cute shirt. It is comfortable except for in the arms. It can be a little tight. I loved this neck shirt. I saw it folded up on like the graphic tee table. I was like, oh my goodness, it's so cute. It looks like another shirt that I own that I love. It's like my uh, tie dye Rolling Stone shirt that I got not from Torrid, somewhere else that I can't remember. But this one reminds me of it and it, it's not as baggy though. And I kind of love the bagginess of the other shirt. So I was kind of comparing the two when I was trying this one on. But this shirt itself, very comfortable, very soft fabric. I really loved the fabric that it was made out of. And I loved that it had the cutout here and then like a V-neck. I love that so much. I love it so much more than just a regular V-neck. So I loved that little like something different about it. Love that. And I loved the tie dye. I loved everything about this shirt. It gave me punk rock vibes while also being super cute. So, I mean, what else can you ask for if you're me? I tried it on in a size two, and I definitely would recommend sticking with your true size because I think going up a size, going up a size I think would be fine, but um, I think your true size actually fits pretty well also. So, I mean, to each their own, if you did want it baggier, maybe go up a size, but I definitely think that you could totally do just like your regular size there also. The next thing I tried on was this freaking sports bra. And okay, does anyone else feel like the Torrid sports bras are not that great? Because I feel like I'm the only one. I feel like everybody else loves the Torrid sports bras. I feel like they are a pain to get on. They're so tight. Like they are so tight. And I get that like if you are larger chested, it's probably great like support and stuff but for me like i just want a comfortable bra like sports bra for me to like wear either every day or to go on walks with whatever maybe even runs but like these are so tight that it's almost like restricting and maybe it has to do with me being apple shaped i'm not sure like okay everyone if you have tried towards sports bras before please comment below and let me know what you think because i feel like i'm the only one that sees a problem with them like i just don't find them comfortable and for me, I don't really find them supportive either because they always tend to be too small around like here and then they're too big here. And so it's just like loose fabric. I don't know, it's just weird. They just fit weird and I tried it on in a size two and like it fit, but like barely. And I don't know, it's just weird because I feel like I'm a 44B and I feel like if I can't fit my chest area into a size two, like what are, you know, what are, you guys with triple f's or whatever doing like you probably can't even fit into their sports bras they're so tight i just don't understand when like towards supposed to be like but i don't know it's just weird it's just weird and i feel like i'm the only one that's been thinking this so if you have to please comment below and let me know because i'm just weirded out i find them so uncomfortable and i just want to know if anyone else feels the same way oh my goodness okay the last item was my favorite item of the whole try on it was a swimsuit a two-piece the top was so cute. I love this like cheetah slash leopard print. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's like black and then it's like black mesh. It's so cute. I loved everything about this swimsuit. I almost bought it right then and there, but it's not quite summer yet. And I keep saying, I wanna buy the swimsuits, but I also wanna wait and see what else they're gonna come out with. This swimsuit was 
everything I've ever wanted in a swimsuit. The skirt, it had the bottom was a skirt, and we all know that I love swimsuit bottoms that are skirts. I always have one on the, at the ready. Like I always have a skirt at the ready for swimsuits. And it's high-waisted, everything. It's just wonderful. And then the top is like a choker almost like neck, you know, where it's like up here, like I say that I like. Like, it's literally the perfect swimsuit for me. I'm almost like, I should just go back and buy it because who knows if it's gonna be there that long. And I tried the top and the bottom in a size three, like I said, in swimsuits, you have to go up a size or maybe even two sometimes. They run so freaking small. So I have nothing bad to say about this swimsuit. It fit wonderful. It looked wonderful. I would wear this in public to pump gas or something. I don't know. I love this swimsuit and I would do anything to have an excuse to wear it. But unfortunately, I'm not really doing anything this summer that involves swimming, at least that I know of yet. So I had no reason to buy it and it's so expensive. You know, I mean, everything at Torrid is so expensive. So you really have to have a reason. And like, yeah, you just really have to have a reason behind every purchase at Torrid. Unless you just kind of go a little crazy and you're like, whatever, shopping free. But I definitely was not doing that this time around. So that was the last item. I hope you guys enjoyed this Torrid try on. Don't forget to enter into the giveaway. All of that will be down below in the description if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you guys in my next one.